Let's turn on friends. Let's read our Bible today, friends. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. Paul, Silas, and Timothy. The church, the Thessalonians in God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace to you from the God, the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving and prayer. We ought always to thank God for you, brothers, and rightly so. Because your faith is growing more and more, and the love every one of you has for each other is increasing. Therefore, among God's churches, we boast about your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and trials you are enduring. All this is evidence that God's judgment is right, and as a result, you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are suffering. God is just, will pay back trouble to those who trouble you, and give relief to you who are troubled, and to us as well. This will happen when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven and is in blazing fire with his powerful angels. He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. They will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the majesty of his power. On the day he comes to be glorified in his holy people and to, the, to be marveled among all those who have believed. This includes you because you believe our testimony to you. With this in mind, we constantly pray for you that our God may count you worthy of his calling and that by his power he may fulfill every good purpose of yours and every act prompted by your faith. We pray this so, we pray this so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> um, as I understand here, friends, that... Um, um, before the the disciples of Jesus or the followers of Jesus was, they were they were persecuted. But the Lord, um, um, because of their faith, they, they were persecuted and punished. But they continued their faith, their belief in Jesus Christ because they love God. And also, for us, um, uh, we need many many problems or any situation may hinder us from worshiping our Lord Jesus Christ. Please do not give up. Keep your faith to the Lord, whatever happens. And those who, and those who, those, those people who will, um, <clears throat> will, will, who, who troubles you in this time, they will be troubled by God and they will be punished by the Lord. So, and also I hope that our, our faith to the Lord Jesus Christ will increase. Our love for the Lord Jesus Christ also will increase and, and for our love to the, to other people. And also, um, and when it when the day of the Lord, um, the coming of the Lord, when it comes, He will Jesus Christ will come in, um, in blazing fire together with His angels in the sky. You will see Him when He comes back, and that time we didn't know only only God in heaven, not even Lord Jesus Christ know what time when the Lord Jesus will come back, and He will punish those who did not know God and those who who never believe in the Lord and did not follow his commands. And for us, we need to really um, uh, continue our our faith to our Lord Jesus Christ, continue to to worship him, pray, pray, pray always, read the Bible, and do, do good to others, so that um, our faith to the Lord, our love to God will increase, and we will not be punished when the Lord will come back, when Jesus will when, when, when the coming, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's what I learned today, friends. I hope that you enjoy reading the Bible today. It, it keeps us strong. It is this, it, reading the Bible is food for our soul. So good afternoon. Take care. God bless.